So, you've decided you would like to take a look at the world of Lancaster and its fine university? Well, for starters, you probably need to know where it is. Guess what? You're in luck, because it's right behind me. Oh, oh, you wanted something a little more specific. Okay, it's in the northwest of England, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump on a train from where you're sat. So let's find out a little bit more about the place. I hope by now you're aware that Lancaster is the highest ranked university in the region. 93% of grads go on to further work and study, and it's seen the benefits of nearly 500 million pounds worth of investment in the best facilities going. Some of the world's most groundbreaking research takes place where I'm stood. For instance, the physics department hold the world record for the coldest place in the universe. Pretty cool. And to top it off, we're surrounded by some of the country's most stunning scenery. You've heard of the Lake District? It's just 30 minutes up the road. Lovely. But here's just one of many places you might like to take in on your travels. Because you could also head over to Morecam Bay, the Forest of Boland, and of course the city itself. The city's got a bit of everything. You like shopping? Sorted. Castles? We're covered. Pubs and bars? Of course. Canals? Yep, we're covered. Museums and theatres? Indubitably. And the train will take you anywhere else you want to go. The city of Lancaster has been an important settlement for nearly 1,000 years. It was the Romans who kicked it all off, putting forts all over the place. In fact, there used to be a big one where the castle stands now. In the 1600s, that very same castle saw the Pendle Witch Trials. More witches were sentenced to hanging here than anywhere outside of London. <laughs> Game of Thrones, eat your heart out. And no doubt you've heard of the War of the Roses where we had a slight disagreement with the city of York and kind of ended up killing each other for decades. You may also know that the winner of that war, a certain chap called Henry VII, went on to father the most famous king there is. Anyway, the spirit of that rivalry lives on and we murder York University, figuratively speaking of course, in an annual sporting event, our very own War of the Roses. So as you can see, it's a lovely part of the world and it's seen all sorts of action over the years. But it was in the 1960s that some bright sparks thought, you know what, let's put a university here and let's make it the best in the area and right up there with the best in the country. So they placed the site on this picturesque hill called Bailrig. Your journey through Lancaster's wonderful campus will no doubt start at the spine. It's an ingenious piece of architecture that runs through the heart of campus nearly a mile and a half. Most places that you need to get to are just right up here. Thoughtfully, they've also designed it so that it's partly covered, so you never need to go in the rain when you're heading to your class or dashing to the shops. One of the things I really like about the university is that it's got this wonderful Harry Potter-like college system. Basically, when you arrive, you're organized into different colleges, which not only affect where you live on campus, but gives a real sense of identity. There are nine colleges, each with their own flavor, but you'll learn more about them today, I'm sure. You'll also notice a plentiful supply of smiling faces as you get about campus. It goes without saying that there is so much to see and do here on Bailrig, but I simply don't have time to show you every last thing, much as I'd like to. But you do know what to do, don't you? Come on one of our open days and get a feel for the place yourself. So, we would love to welcome you here to this hallowed halls of learning, this esteemed theaters of education, this, this, I'll just come here, okay? <laughs>